Um, did Nate Diaz, did Chris uh, Avila versus, um, I'm sorry, bro, I'm butchering your name, brother, and I should know your name, and I, sh I should have seen your fights. That was the first fight I got to catch by you, man, because, you know, he was on a couple of them other Jake Paul card cards but i i'm telling you i don't watch that shit bro give a fuck about jake paul fighting ben Askren, dude you think i give a fuck about that dude are you crazy are you crazy think i give a fuck about jake paul versus tyron woodley are you fucking stupid after jake paul fought nate robinson and some fucking loser youtuber bro get the fuck out of here guys this shit's a joke bro this shit is 90% a fucking joke and it pisses me off, dude. But anyway. And then we talked about um, Amanda Serrano versus Heather Hardy. So, Corey Sanhagen, I was watching it at the same time as Amanda Serrano uh, versus Heather Hardy. And it was a lot of wrestling. It was a lot of wrestling. And some decent ground and pound. Corey threw a couple elbows from on top to Rob Font. But he dominated that fight um, from a wrestling point of view. And he's been working with Ryan Hall for the past, you know, six months to a year, past two years. And that's just been elevating, you know. He he got choked out by um, Al Jermaine Sterling. Shout out to Aljo, you know. Shout out Aljo, man. So proud of that dude, bro. I don't need to fucking know him to be proud of him, you idiot, bro. He's a human being that had fucking spinal neck surgery and then came came back and beat the fuck out of Piotr Jan. Okay, so proud of that dude, bro. You guys don't, you guys can't relate to me because you're not you're not a real motherfucker like I am. Because you're not a fucking, you don't have warrior spirit in your being like I do. So you can't relate to me when I say shit like that. That I'm proud of Al Jermaine Sterling for going through fucking neck spinal surgery and coming back and beating the shit out of the dude who everybody thought he was faking. Come on, man. Proud of that dude, right? But he choked out Corey Sanhagen in about fucking in that first round, I'm pretty sure, right? Is that first round or what, guys? And that flipped a switch in Corey Sanhagen. And now... Corey Sanhagen ain't out here to entertain your bitch ass, bro. He don't give a fuck about your entertainment. You know what he gives a fuck about? His legacy. You know what he gives a fuck about? Being a real martial artist, a real champion. You know what the fuck he gives a fuck? Yeah, about that belt. He don't give a fuck about entertaining you drinking your Modelo and Monster and shit. You stupid motherfuckers, bro. Y'all are all stupid as all hell. So, it wasn't the most exhilarating fight. But Corey San, San, Sanhagen has a point to prove that not only is he one of the best strikers in mixed martial arts right now, but he could also wrestle. So now what? Now, now you all are in some fucking trouble, right? And, and then uh, we'll end it on this. <clears throat> I want to know who he fought last because he implemented a lot of that wrestling. It wasn't Piotr Jan. Corey. Sanhagen, right? Yeah, Marlon Vera. Remember that, guys? And he fucking wrestled the fuck out of Marlon Vera, too, man. So, Corey Sanhagen, dude. Sean O'Malley, dude, I love Sean O'Malley, too, guys. Shout out to him. People can say whatever the fuck they want about Sean O'Malley, but guess what? For the past 10 years, the motherfuckers trained every day. So what the fuck you really got to say about his ass, bro? Nothing, bro. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You don't like his hair? Who gives a shit, dude? You're a loser, bro. You're a fucking casual ass, Modelo drinking loser bitch, bro. Go eat your popcorn and shut the fuck up, bro. Sean O'Malley's a savage and trains every day, but guess what, dude? Him versus Aljo is going to be the biggest test of his life. And even after, if... He makes it through Aljo, which is very, very, very unlikely. You got to deal with Corey Sanhagen now. The upgraded version of Corey Sanhagen, who is mentally untouchable in terms of his mentality, where he's at mentally, bro. He's the 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 art of war and, you know, learn, like practicing Taoism and shit like that, bro. It's hard to fuck with a guy like that, dude, who's, at, who's chasing legacy like Habib, bro. It's hard to fuck with somebody when you got God fueling your performance as opposed to Connor's out for that money. You know, the reason why Connor was as dangerous as he was on his come up, that was his destiny. 
That wasn't just 50 G's, baby. No, that was also his destiny. He was destined for that until he made $100 million and chilled out a little bit. So, poor Sean O'Malley's, dude. My man's in, he's in, he's in it now, bro. You in the motherfucking jungle now, brother. And, uh, yeah, it was a good night, man. It was a good night, bro. Shout out to Real Fight, Real Fight Inc. Man, I would be honored to be able to fight under that promotion someday. And, um, bah! look out for me, man. I'm coming this year, guys. I'm coming, dude. Go, go to Costal MMA, right? That's where you're at right now watching these videos. Guys, start tapping into some of my workout videos, dude. They're long. They're lengthy. I get it. You might not want to sit through it, but if you exercise, you got to watch that shit, dude. I'm putting in, I'm putting in good work, guys. I'm putting in good work and you can see the transformation. If you don't have to watch the th fucking 30 minute full workout routine, right? But go tap in for fucking a minute and 30 seconds, two minutes, right? And then rewind two months ago and tap into some of my workout content from then, man. And see my progression, dude. My cardio is through the roof right now, guys. I run three miles like it's nothing right now, guys. At a fucking decent pace. Not a good pace, not a great pace, especially not if I'm outside. But on that treadmill, I'm at like, I run at like a seven, three miles like it's nothing, bro. Like it's nothing. I'm warming up on that jump rope 10 minutes minimum, man. I couldn't do that three, four months ago. I, you know, even prior to my accident, couldn't do that shit. You know, I'm, guys, I'm fucking getting there. And, um, you know, my plan is January. I wanna have my first amateur fight. You know, other than that one that I had when I was a child. And then I want to, dude, I want to pump out 70 motherfucking amateur fights in 2024, all right? And I need y'all to <clears throat> stay with me for the journey, okay? So, going inside. It's been a long day. Go fucking go to bed, man. I'm hungry, man. I want, I really, I might, should I do a protein shake? I think I could get away with a protein shake before I go to bed. Nah, we're just gonna go to bed cold turkey. <clears throat> Maybe I'll go pick up some, uh, I gotta go pick up some uh, milk alternative. I really wanna pick up some milk, but it creates too much uh, mucus in my body. Despite the, uh, the amount of protein that it provides, I gotta stick with the milk alternatives, unfortunately, guys. So I'm trying to figure out the placement of all my content if you're here i need you to start dropping the like button you fucking ignorant assholes why are you not dropping the like button bro i'm providing the best content on the internet but i'm trying to figure out the placement of where i'm gonna you know because i want to start pumping out like um my like uh, videos about my diet and how i eat and how it helps me to perform so on and so forth you know um i'm trying to push a lot of that content out of my costal fitness but we're we're figuring some of them things out so all right y'all it was a decent night of fights um the last thing i want to say is i think the dude's name's lopez and uh, i know his sister fights in the ufc and uh he filled in a couple cards back he he took a short notice fight he put on such a great performance everybody was talking about him you know, oh, we can't wait to, he's, we're going to put this dude on, you know, again, because he put on such a great performance. And he went and he fucking uh, triangle choked his um, opponent tonight. Uh, I think, like, within the first 10 seconds of the fight, he caught a low blow. It seemed a little bit questionable. I didn't get to see the replay, but it was kind of like, but then he fucking ends up choking the dude out. You know, the dude's like, what the fuck, bro? That wasn't a low blow, bro. You fucking faker-ass bitch. Then he gets choked out fucking two minutes later, dog. So I'm going to call my cousin back. And um, I'm going to talk some shit with him. And then I'm um, going to go in and go to bed. Turn this AC back on.